The flooding has taken a serious toll on bridges in Ruidoso. I'm just shocked. I never would have thought that there would be enough water to do this much damage. You'll hit a dead end if you try to cross some of them because they simply don't exist anymore. They're gone. Most of them are gone or damaged so bad that uh, you can't get through at all. Many bridges are too unstable for heavy traffic, so the city is limiting their use. You just have to trust that they've got them in shape that you can drive on. Well, the guardrail's gone. FEMA officials are assessing every bridge and roadway with serious damage. You guys ready to go to the next one? And say the situation here is something they aren't taking lightly. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly. FEMA teams are collecting data on everything they see. We're collecting dimensions and estimating costs on, on what it's going to cost to put it back together. But there's a lot of destruction to record. We probably have 16, 18 hours worth of work to do to get the figures in. Their work here will determine if this area gets federal assistance. We'll do whatever it takes to make sure that we get it back together. People who live around here are anxious for this to happen. We've been coming up here for over 50 years and uh, it's the first time I've seen anything like this. Today, FEMA officials have also been taking a close look at some of the broken water and sewer lines. We're told it could take up to a year before everything here is back to normal. In Ruidoso, Ilana Gold, KOAT Action 7 News.